On this episode of Mike's Reef, I'm going to show you how to get rid of bryopsis and other nuisance algae coming right up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Mike's Reef. Today I want to talk to you about a little medication called Flucanazole and what it's done for my tank and a lot of other people's tanks as well. Now first of all, I got my bryopsis off a frag of zoanthids that I had purchased and didn't realize at the time that that was actually what it was. After months of trying to control it to no avail, this is what it turned out to be. That's horrible. If this would have gone on any further, now you're talking about tearing down your tank. Now at the time, I wasn't looking for any particular type of cure because I knew there wasn't really one. I was doing my best to try to control it with water changes and picking it and sucking it out at the same time. You know, the same old, same old that everybody else tries. Now this in turn just made things worse as we all know. The more you pick it, the more it spreads. And if you remember back in my other videos, not only did I have bryopsis, but I had green hair algae and bubble algae as well. One morning I happened to be looking on some forums, which is Reef to Reef. I also take a look at Reef Central a lot. And I come across a post from a fellow named NC Reef Guy. And his discovery with using this particular medication to get rid of bryopsis, I couldn't believe my eyes when I seen it. Now flucanazole is not something that we typically use in our fish tanks when it comes to bryopsis. So needless to say, it really struck my attention. Flucanazole is typically used in animals and humans to treat yeast infections, believe it or not. So here, let me tell you a little bit about how it works. So I'm gonna read this directly as to not get it messed up. So flucanazole blocks the enzymatic pathway for the production of ergosterol. Ergosterol is essential for maintaining the cell wall integrity of plants. It is a sterile found in cell membranes of fungi and protozoa, serving many of the same functions that cholesterol serves in animal cells. So what it's actually doing is it's breaking down the cell walls of the bryopsis, and as far as we can tell right now, also green hair algae. Now when you read something like that, as a reefer that's invested thousands of dollars into this hobby, naturally your tendency is to back off. But also too, your curiosity has been arisen. So as I read on and I seen the pictures that people were posting with their success with this medication, one, I couldn't believe my eyes, but two, I had to find out for myself. I noticed that there was no changes in any corals, anemones, clams, anything like that. Even catomorpha. With that being an algae, that would be enough to scare me alone right there. However, there was no effect on this algae either. Alright, so in this next segment, I'm going to show you how I dosed my tank and how I went about this situation. However, I must preface by saying that please do this at your own risk. Take a look at my video for inspiration. I'm going to post a link in the description to where you can look at the forums yourself and see the thousands of comments and pictures and all that good stuff that's in there so you can hopefully feel better about your situation and get the courage up to do it. However, if you don't feel comfortable with it, don't do it. It's just as simple as that. I take no form of responsibility for anything that happens in your tank. That's good. Now before we get started, there's a couple things that you might want to do in your tank to go ahead and get it prepared for dosing this medication. Really you don't have to take any equipment offline. Skimmers, things like that, usually pretty fine. Uh, now however, I did pull my skimmer cup off for 24 hours as the medication doesn't fully dissolve in water until the first 24 hours after you dose it. So your water will be a little cloudy, but it will dissolve and however you don't want your skimmer pulling all that stuff out. I would however take off any carbon or GFO or algae turf scrubbers, just in case. Now as of right now, there isn't any particular type of way that everybody has to go about doing this treatment. Uh, we just stick to the basics as far as what we know now, as far as the carbon and GFO. Some of that's just common sense items, but however, people have done it many different ways with many different lighting schedules, turning the lights off, turning them on, turning them down, you know, however you want to do it. Right now, there's no hard fast rule for how to do this treatment. Most people, actually all people except for one person on that forum, 
has seen dramatic results when it comes to this treatment, as long as you follow the basics. All right now guys, so here we go. So we got the, uh, the Flunko 200 milligram capsules. So it's a very simple formula. All you have to do is do 20 milligrams and times that by how many gallons of water that your whole system is. Now we're gonna be dosing this one time. Usually in a typical medication like this, we're gonna end up dosing it a few times over the course of a few days. This should instill some confidence in you to go ahead and try it yourself. Now to this point, we consider this to be the standard dose. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all these little capsules and dump them into a bowl of water. Voila. So now you just take that, mix it up, and don't worry about it not dissolving 100% because it's not going to anyway. That'll happen later on your tank, which is why you take off your skimmer cup for at least 24 hours to make sure that the medication dissolves thoroughly. Now the next step is easy. Just muster up that courage that I know you have and go ahead and pour it into your tank. You can pour some in your sump or pour some in your display. It doesn't really matter. Come on, you can do it. All right guys, here's where patience comes into play. So as we know, everything is not a quick fix in saltwater aquariums. This is a 14 day treatment and you just let it sit. There's no redosing, no water changes, nothing like that. So it's actually very easy. Now you, what you want to do is continue your regular carbon dosing and your regular dosing schedule for your magnesium, alkalinity, all that good stuff. Don't stop that because that has no effect on this particular medication. All right, so for the rest of the video, what I want you to do is take a look at these progression pictures. You're going to see it from day one all the way through day 14. Look at the dramatic effect that it's had on my tank. Man, I could not be happier. This has been the most amazing thing that I've seen in reef keeping in a long time. I hope it will be for you too as well. Enjoy my pictures. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them. I'll put my email address in the link below so you can contact me directly. Look at the forums. Ask as much questions as you want. These guys have all had the same problems as you and I, so please don't hesitate. These guys are very nice guys, and I couldn't be happier with the whole progression and the community support that's gone on with this and the people that are also continuing to research this and see for the reasons why it actually works. This is Mike Sharif. Peace out.